There you go. Okay, so looking at the muscles of the face and the anterior neck, we'll just take them in order as I in the lab. So muscle number one, frontalis. Origin, Zagala aponeurotica. Insertion, the skin near the eyebrows. Action, raises the eyebrows and pulls the scalp anteriorly. So here is the gala, right, which is this broad tendon sheath. And originating from that tendon is the frontalis muscle. And inserting near the eyebrow. So we can see why the action would be raising the eyebrow or pulling forward the scalp. Okay. Number two, orbicularis oculi. Origin, frontal bone and maxilla on the medial orbit. Insertion, the eyelid and action closes the eye. So origin, medial inserts on the lid. And it will, when it contracts, since it is, what kind of muscle? Circular. Circular. When it contracts, it will close and close down that opening. So, blinking the eye. Shutting, right? Closing the eye. Number three. Another circular muscle, orbicularis oris. Origin, the muscles encircling, encircling the mouth. So not all muscles originate on bone. Inserts with the skin of the lips and closes the mouth. So here's the top portion and the bottom portion goes under this muscle and it will close the mouth. Number four. Ah. I like this muscle. The platysma. I like saying platysma, because when you say platysma, you're doing the action of the muscle. So the platysma originates on the fascia over the pec major muscles and the deltoid muscles inserts on the mandible and the skin inferior to the lower lip and it depresses the lower lip so it's this and platy means remember flat. flat it's this broad flat muscle that will depress the lip and make you look very sophisticated as you contract it and that's the muscle that women are trying to uh, exercise to get rid of at least one of their chins. <laughs> of course, <laughs> we know how that works. Number five. Where's number five? Ah, one of the muscles of mastication. So we know mastication, masseter. And that is huge muscle originates on the zygomatic arch, inserts on the ramus of the mandible, and it will close the mandible. So let's see. So we can only see part of it here, right? But it's the muscle that's gonna bring the mandible shut. Let's, and it's cut here. And here's the ramus of the mandible, and it's going to be a huge muscle right here. So let's, on another model, I think we could see more better. We could see a little more of it on this guy. But it really is a large 
muscle. And you get a good picture of it from the from the illustration as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's really good. That one right there. Yeah. <laughs> and bringing them all out. Yeah, big torso man. That's a big masseter. Right, and the parotid gland. And. Right there, yeah. Okay. Number six, the digastric. Di, two, gastric bellies. So it has two bellies. So, <clears throat> origins, anterior, inferior mandible, and the mastoid notch of the temporal bone and insertion on the hyoid bone. So, where's the best place to see this? So one of the bellies of the diet, actually pause it, I just wanna make sure I have the right one. 